This is Mission Control Houston. Welcome and thank you for joining us for today's edition of Space Station Live. It's been a uh, busy week of scientific research, maintenance, and uh, preparation for the goings and comings of visiting cargo ships, as well as an upcoming spacewalk at the International Space Station for the Expedition 36 crew members. Flight engineers Karen Nyberg and Chris Cassidy and uh, Luca Parmitano got together Monday to talk to uh, public school students from uh, Douglas, Massachusetts. And all six Expedition 36 crew members have performed an emergency drill on Monday. The uh, onboard training allows the crew to practice communication and coordination skills during a simulated emergency scenario. Chris Cassidy had worked on a uh, science hardware inside the fluids integrated rack. He then uh, configured hardware for the advanced colloids experiment. While uh, Nyberg had removed a uh, depressurization hose in the tranquility node's urine processing assembly, and uh, Parmentano replaced a urine receptacle and filter inside Tranquility's waste and hygiene. Then on Tuesday, a trash-filled Progress 51 resupply craft undocked from the aft end port of the Zvezda service module. A uh, Progress 51 had delivered 3.1 tons of food, fuel, and equipment for the station crew on April 26. It had launched two days earlier from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. However, uh, reaching, after reaching orbit, one of its antennas for the Kurs automated rendezvous system did not deploy. As the uh, Progress cargo craft had departed, the ship's uh, external cameras were focused on navigational sensors on the Zvezda docking port. Uh, imagery was gathered to confirm that the sensors were not dam damaged when the uh, Progress arrived at the station with one of its navigational antennas folded against its side. These uh, sensors are required for a new cargo ship, the uh, automated transfer vehicle to uh, dock properly. Also on Tuesday, flight engineers Nyberg and Cassidy had set up samples for the advanced colloid experiment, which observes microscopic solids that are suspended in a liquid. Results from that uh, research could benefit the manufacturing of smart materials for spacecraft and improved household products on Earth. Then Nyberg had uh, performed a periodic fitness evaluation measuring her bone and uh, heart health on an exercise bicycle. Cassidy had also uh, worked with tiny bowling ball size satellites, also known as spheres, which allows students to test their programming skills. The six-member Expedition 36 crew then took a break on Wednesday with an off-duty day in observance of uh, Russia Day when the uh, country declared its sovereignty in 1990. Europe's fourth automated transfer vehicle, the Albert Einstein, had uh, continued its trek to the International Space Station for a uh, June 15 docking, that's this Saturday. Two rendezvous burns were scheduled on Wednesday to refine its path to the station, where it will uh, dock to the Zvezda service module's aft docking port. Flight engineer Parmitano had assisted Cassidy, who hopped on an exercise bike and had his blood pressure monitored for a fitness evaluation, and uh, Nyberg had monitored her blood pressure as part of a uh, periodic medical exam and collected her saliva sample for stowage in a science freezer. Meanwhile, on Wednesday, Commander Pavel Vinogradov had uh, worked with the ongoing Russian experiment known as plasma crystal. The study records plasma crystal forming processes and parameters such as gas pressure, high frequency radiated power, and the size of dust particles. Flight engineers Alexander Masurkin and Luca Parmitano had spent Thursday morning practicing the rendezvous procedures and abort scenarios for the uh, ATV-4 cargo craft. Ground controllers had uh, reviewed the imagery of the Zvezda docking port for that possible damage to reflectors that could prevent Saturday's docking of the Albert Einstein. Meanwhile, uh, flight engineer Karen Nyberg had worked with an ongoing fluids physics experiment known as capillary flow experiment. Also on Thursday, Cassidy took photographs of samples collected for the binary colloidal alloy test experiment known as BCAT. BCAT studies the effects of microscopic solids that are suspended in a liquid that could benefit materials fabrication processes here on Earth. And on the Russian side of the house on Thursday, Commander Pavel Vinogradov and Ms. Surkin had uh, partnered together for more work with the uh, plasma crystal experiment. Vinogradov had also checked the Russian laptop computers and reconfigured communications gear. And uh, Ms. Surkin, along with uh, Fyodor Yurchikin, the two spacewalkers, work together to gather more tools and equipment in preparation for the June 24th spacewalk.
Friday is an off-duty day for the U.S. crew members of Expedition 36 since the trio flight engineers Cassidy, Parmitano, and Nyberg will be working over the weekend to support the docking of the automated transfer vehicle for resupply ship. Flight engineers Yurichikin and uh, Misurkin are preparing their Orlon spacesuits and tools for their six-hour spacewalk that will occur just outside the pier's docking compartment on June 24th. During their uh, six-hour excursion, the two spacewalkers will uh, replace a fluid flow valve on Zarya, deploy and retrieve experiments from the Russian segment modules as well as string power cables along Zarya for the eventual arrival of the new multi-purpose laboratory module that is uh, scheduled to launch at the end of the year on a Russian Proton rocket. The crew is scheduled to go to bed at 4.30 p.m. Central Time. This is Mission Control Houston.